Extreme Fight Night is brought to you by Regal Car Sales and Credit, TNW Tire, Route 66 Harley Davidson, Cell Phone Rescue, Arnold Electric Inc., 97.5 KMOD, Apollo's Martial Arts, Coors Light, R. Turley Roofing Inc., John Christner Trucking, The Law Office of Jeff Martin and Associates, B and B Restoration, and Will Joe Interiors. Everybody here, Paradise Cove, River Spirit Casino, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Are you ready? That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Let's meet our fighters. Fighting out of the blue corner for this lightweight kickboxing bout. Out of Dewey, Oklahoma, please welcome Devin White. Welcome back as we're set for the first fight of the night tonight at Extreme Fight Night 345, Final Fury. Myron, it looks like the first fight is gonna be a good three minute, three two minute round kickboxing match and Devin White is making his way to the stage right now and Sometimes people think that first fight of the night is going to be not as exciting, but we've seen with this Extreme Fight Night series, the first fight sets the tempo for the whole night. Yep, these guys get the opportunity to set the tone of the entire fight night. Uh, I enjoy fighting first and then getting it out of the way and enjoying the rest of the fights from the stands. Absolutely. Here's the second fighter. And fight. the red corner, fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, Tyler Harrison. Tyler Harrison is a guy who fights, uh, with, trains with Thomas Longacre, and he is a proud member of the Muscogee Creek Nation. He wears his pride, as you can see, right there on his forehead. Um, he's native, he doesn't, most people, I don't want to say they run from their Native American heritage, but he is one that puts it out there for everybody to see. He's really proud of it. He trains with Daryl the Reaper Wilson uh, and Thomas Longacre, like I said. And one of the great things about Tyler is that he puts in 50 hours a week just at his job, and then he comes and trains. And uh, that's, you, as you know, that's taxing on the, on the body and the mind to try and be able to train and work a full-time job. Yeah, that's definitely hard trying to juggle the two, but he's at a really good camp with good coaches and good training partners. So uh, with this being three two-minute rounds, you can expect a high pitch fight, and uh, it's going to be really exciting. There's no takedowns involved, so these guys are just going to be slugging for it. We saw uh, Tyler Harris in the last fight uh, in October, and, and he looked he was a slow starter. He looked like he wasn't uh, all there, but he eventually snapped right into uh, form and, and uh, ultimately came out with a victory, if I remember correctly. So it's going to be a great fight, as you said. It's going to be very high impact and, and quick pace. Let's go to Casey for the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Lightweight kickboxing, three rounds, two minutes apiece. Let's meet our fighters one more time. Fighting out of the blue corner, he fights out of Dewey, Oklahoma. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Devin White. And across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He's fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. He is Tyler Harrison. And our referee in this bout, charge of the cage, Mr. Kevin Nix. Are you ready? Fighters, you ready? Tulsa, Oklahoma, you ready? Here we go! All right, here we go. You've got Tyler Harrison in the red corners in the gray trunks, and Devin White is in the black trunks with the gray stripe, as we see that first front kick from Devin. Devin's coming out in that southpaw stance, and you can immediately see the, the height advantage. And uh, he's trying, trying to take advantage of that right now, circling and try to catch uh, Tyler coming in. Kickboxing rules are pretty simple. Uh, no throws, no sweeps, no takedowns, which is what we just saw with Devin. That wasn't a takedown. He, he tripped. Uh, and you cannot strike a grounded opponent. Tyler doing a great job of going in and keeping his heads up, really protecting his head, just trying to get in close. Some, some guys do that because they think the other person can't handle that close of fighting, right? Yep, yep, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, the last fight I saw with Tyler here was against a good fighter, uh, Chislam Collins, and uh, he kind of kept this, this good cardio pace and was pressing the action and uh, kind of wore his opponent, uh, his opponent down. So we'll see if he do, does the same thing tonight. Well, and a lot of fighters don't expect that coming in. That was a great uh, sweep from, uh, from Tyler of the kick. Yeah, Devin right now is just kind of picking his shots, taking up the whole cage right now. 
Oh, a little bit of a slip right there. Yeah. Nice little low kick counter from Tyler. It's really a great strategy to come in and if you can take the durability of the punches and, and get in close like that, yeah. that phone booth fighting because there's no, uh, it kind of throws your opponent off. They don't know what to expect. Oh, I love it because you're just walking him down. Meanwhile, your opponent's having to dance all over the ring. So you're slowly going to break him down. He's going to get tired before you do because you're just standing there walking him down. People think that that's not a big deal moving around in the cage, but it is, uh, oh, it is. a lot of real estate to cover. There's a knee from Tyler. Watching Tyler fights really great because he's very chest paced. He takes his time and when he finds that shot though, he jumps into action. Into the first round here at Extreme Fight Night 345. That is Tyler Harrison and Devin White. And how do you have that scored, Myron? I would have to give that round to uh, Tyler just uh, for the uh, ring uh, ownership. He had Devin on his bike the whole time, as you see here. So he was just kind of controlling the action. Devin was doing a good job, though, picking his shots. But I'd have to give that round to Tyler just over the pressure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the Devin looked like he was being more aggressive, but he was only because uh, Tyler was pushing the pace that whole first round. Extreme Fight Night 345, River Spirit Casino Resort in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thanks for joining us on Fight.TV. I am Corbin Pierce along with Meyer in the future, Dennis, as we get set for round number two. It's three two-minute rounds is what will happen here for this kickboxing match. It's the first fight tonight. And we've got Tyler Harrison in the gray trunks, gray, tr gray trunks and Devin White in the black with gray stripe. It's the second round. Yeah, both guys keep a good composure in this second round, you can see. Good counter from uh, Devin. The, the one thing about being tall like Devin is in the gym, being tall like that, you get, uh, you get away a lot with your hands being down. But once you get to fight night, you have to worry about people knowing how to step in on you. So he's definitely going to keep those hands up and uh, watch out for Tyler coming in on him like he's doing right now. Tyler's doing a great job of connecting with those kicks, which aren't doing a lot of damage, but over time will benefit from him in the later uh, part of these rounds. Yeah, but he's adding up points right now, and uh, that's, that's slowly going to break him down. And Ty uh, Tyler's pretty new still to the game. He's only been kickboxing for about three years. But he does a great job of reading those kicks and covers up fully. Doesn't just partially cover up. Yep, he's got a great uh, high guard. He knows when he's in danger on the inside, which is where he needs to be. So he's comfortable being there. And watching him fight, too, he has oh. a no-quit attitude. You're going to have to put him out to finish him. Yeah, he's like a zombie. He's going to keep coming at you. Tyler kicking his mouth guard out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little slip of the mouthpiece. And that's how I was looking at it a little bit earlier. Devlin was kind of breathing with his mouth open. And uh, sometimes when you do that, it makes it easy for the mouthpiece to come out. Yeah, he, is, is that a sign? Is just the way the guys train? They Because that's the, we saw some pre preliminary fights where they play with their mouth guard the whole time, thinking there's Steph Curry in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, sometimes the mouthpiece is in a, uh, ooh, nice combos from Devin. Nice, real fire. He said, nobody marks it, knocks out my mouthpiece. <laughs> nice. Feeling a sense of urgency from Devin, but uh, Tyler coming back Tyler's in. Tyler sticking the with it, absolutely. Yeah. Giving those kicks, and Devin uh, was already a little gassed, it felt like, and so he, he better pay up, that better pay off for him. Superman punch there from Tyler as he continues to go in with that uppercut. If he connects with that uppercut, it'll do some damage, and that's the end of round number two. Yeah, Tyler's got one speed, and he's going to maintain it the entire fight. You're right about that. You don't see a lot of fighters that um, stay consistent the whole time. Let's check the replay here and see some of the handiwork of the fighters in our second fight, Extreme Fight Night 345. Nice. There's that fury from Devin White. Yeah, he just felt that pressure and he saw his combos. And this is what he needs to do. He needs to be a little more active. Uh, make Tyler a little uh, worried about coming in like that. If he comes in without getting hit, he's gonna do it all night. Kevin Nix giving some instruction to Devin White, warning him about the mouth guard, and if it happens again, he's gonna lose a point. That means he saw what we were seeing, which yep. was that uh, playing with the mouth guard the whole time. Yeah, it could be a conditioning thing, uh, mouth breathing that makes that mouthpiece easy to come out, but it can also be 
uh, effect of the mouthpiece not fitting right and falling out. For people that have never seen fights before, when they put their arms down and they're tired, it's not necessarily they aren't conditioned well. It could be a number of different things, right, Myron? Yep. It could be an adrenaline dump. It could be the kicks adding up on the leg. All right, third round here, Extreme Fight Night 345. Tyler Harrison, Devin White, and there's oh, again nice. Devin just starting Combo. with Fury. And that's what he needs to do. He needs to keep that pace up. Oh, Give nice counter. Shots. Tyler returns it. Smart, and in a smart way, Tyler steps out. He knows he may be behind on the, on the card, so he knows he needs a knockout this last round. He hasn't got a whole lot of time to work, so he's going to go for it. Nice. The body shots are dangerous. Yes. One shot to the liver could end it. Got to keep those hands up when coming inside, though. Ooh, There's nice a heavy one. punch to Devin White from Tyler. A little over the top There's right hand. Blocked oh, it. nice. Throws it again. You see uh, Devin breathing with that mouth open again, but he's still throwing. Oh. Tyler still, as you said, keeping the same pace. Yep, he's he, got a, he got a bloody nose, doesn't care. He's still coming forward. <laughs> Swinging for the fences. Great work there from Tyler as he uh, stepped in and then stepped right back out. Oh, yeah. Both guys, you can tell, are getting a little exhausted. Yeah. Third round is, the, is a rough round. Yeah, Devin's starting to find his rhythm, but does he have the cardio to keep it up for the rest of the round? Deep breath from Tyler right there. Body shots, it's got to be at least the 10th body shot from Devin White onto Tyler Harrison. That will also do some damage. Less than 30 seconds left in this third and final round of our first fight at Extreme Fight Night 345. Devin's now doing the hunting in the ring. Yeah, you see uh, Tyler starting to slow down now. Oh, mixing up nice combos like right there. Oh. Tyler's still doing a great job of checking some of those kicks. Tyler pressing the action right now. Up against the cage, nice. and they're unloading to oh. try and finish the fight in the last couple seconds. And they just uh, end the fight oh. just exhausted. They were throwing the things, huh? We said it. The first fight sets the tempo. Extreme Fight Night 345 is underway, and it did not disappoint that first fight between Tyler Harrison and Devin White goes the full three rounds. Both guys just unloading on each other at the very end there, Myron. Yeah, it was a really good first fight of the night. You see both guys are bloodied up, tired. It's a good fury of punches there. Let's see the replay and some of the great work that was done in that first round here. And here's the end where those guys just started unloading punches on each other. Tyler's hitting some. I, uh, Devin looks like he got one in there. And there's another one from Tyler. This is what the fans want to see. They want to see you go all out, go big or go home. And, uh, you know, good job to both guys, whoever wins. It's a really great performance from both guys here. Extreme Fight Night 345 as the judges are making the decision. And Casey Lupo have the official announcement here in a second. And uh, it seems that all the guys that come out of that Long Acre camp have that, that uh, do not quit attitude and just get in there and get the job done. Yep, Thunderkick's a great coach. Uh, he was a great fighter also. And uh, you can see uh, that his fighters still get that attitude as he did, or yeah. it does. Yeah. Uh, all right, so let's get the official announcement. Let's go to the cage with Casey Lou. Make some noise for these kickboxers. That was an excellent, excellent way to start tonight. And great sportsmanship as well. It does go the distance, ladies and gentlemen. And all three judges score about 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision out of the blue corner. Wow. Your winner, Devin White. Devin White gets the decision <laughs> and a frustrated Tyler Harrison. Yep. A little celebration uh, dance at the end. Yeah, Tyler not happy with the decision. But a lot of times, you know, it's all about how the fighter ends the fight. Yeah, the, the, you leave it to the judges. That's the chance you take. And it might have been that third round that made the big difference because yep. uh, Devin was the aggressor. And, and there we see both guys. And it looks pretty even. There's that fury of punches where they try to unload on the end. Just some great work from Tyler and Devin for that first fight here, Extreme Fight Night. There's that kick. Devin just did a great job in that third round of pushing yep. the pace and really exhausting Tyler. Yeah, yeah Tyler did a good job uh, round one and round two getting that pressure, but Devin just turned it up. You know, he needed that knockout and he ended up getting the, the decision win. 
Yeah, just some great work there from Tyler. There's that fury of punches at the Barry in Extreme Fight Night 345. There's no one else who compares to Regal. They're the National Quality Dealer of the Year, and they have over 25 years in business. They've got low-pressure salespeople who want to get you into the car that you want. Regal Cars and Credit has a huge selection of cars, over 500 in inventory. They was real friendly and real helpful. Any questions I had, they answered them. Regal Car Sales and Credit. We got it. We got it. Oh, yeah. Why don't you try Regal? It's Regal. Oh, yeah. You're here about the car wreck? Yep, the name's Martin. Attorney Jeff Martin. The heavy hitter? You're the insurance guy. Time to pay up. How much? You best pay it all, and then some. Car wreck, call Jeff Martin. At 728-8888. He's the heavy hitter. You're not gonna shoot me, are you? No, I'm gonna sue you. Nobody messes with Attorney Jeff Martin. Call 728-8888. Even the king has a dark side. Meet the Road King Special, the stripped down, muscled up version of the American icon. Powered by the Milwaukee 8 engine. It's good to be king. Davidson.